Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm late. How was lunch? Good. Good. All right. Our friends are on. Evelyn, Kelsey, can you hear me? Thumbs up. Perfect. All right. Miss Darby is going to share her screen. In the midst of having to close schools down, uh, we decided as a team that uh, we needed uh, to invest in technology to help our students that were at home. After we got the Chromebooks, uh, we practiced with our kids logging on Zoom, logging onto the, the Vibe board and interacting with the, the activity. Uh, we use Canvas management system, so they were already uh, trained in that. that. That way they can access all of their classes. All of the links are saved on their classes. Um, and then with the incorporation of the Vibe Words, we can have the students collaborate together, whether they're in school or at home. Our hypothesis has to be what? Good job, testable, yes. Managing online students and students in the building really is a dance. You have to be in constant movement. I have to be able to see what my students at home are doing. I have to be able to see what the kids in the classroom are doing. Okay, we're gonna do a group activity. So get on the Vibe Board. Thumbs up when you're ready for the code. Now here's where I'm going to pair you up. Some of you are going to be working with the student at home. The others are going to stay in here, okay? With the five words, they are able to interact so I can flip through the different pages that I have set up on my canvas and I can see their answers live. Kiddos at home, how are we doing? Check in, good? I'm a face-to-face -face person. Um, I believe that we have to create relationships with our students in order for us to um, connect and get the best out of them. So I was not always a big fan of virtual learning, but after um, playing around with the different technological tools we got, um, I kind of shifted my view with the technology that we are using now. It's a lot easier for me to get them engaged and get them to collaborate with their friends, their peers that are in the classroom. It engaged them in their learning and it made them excited about learning. O, O, continent A. Awaken Board is a board that students connect to their computer and they write on the board like a whiteboard so that I can get their responses projected on my computer. O, W. I can now use them within the classroom with the number of students and see their responses so that I don't have to walk all the way around the classroom and everybody waits. So I can see the responses right there on the screen and I know who needs help and who doesn't need help and who's got it who hasn't got it. It's changed the educational landscape because I can integrate more kids at one time and not just do a one-on-one. -on -one. And so it's broadened how I can work with kids. It's not um, that complicated to use. It's mostly the person who is putting the responses on. They have to download the software, which is free, of course, comes with the wake and board, and then they connect it. And then we just go over Zoom and do the sharing. And it's as simple as that. We talked about chemical and physical changes. Okay. There is so much more of them interacting with their colleagues in the room. Um, not only with me, but with the other students, especially if they are right next to them. Um, and even if they're across the room, I've had a lot of students who will say something like, hey, can you rotate me or can I rotate myself to say hi to XYZ? So the social piece is probably the biggest benefit that I've seen. It is an engagement builder. You definitely see a lot of enthusiasm when students can move the iPad back and forth, they can move it up and down, they can say hi to their friends. So it has definitely had an impact on the enthusiasm students have when being at home because a lot of them don't like the at-home learning because their friends aren't there. And when they're on the Kubi, it gives them an opportunity to be a little bit more present than maybe just on a Zoom screen or anything like that. You have to communicate, you have to advocate, I can't see, you have to talk to your other uh, classmate to get that to be moved. So it kind of brings in a little bit more of that social emotional learning of advocating and talking. My view of education has really changed as far as how much technology can be used in the classroom. And I didn't know the, the variety of things that could be used. So technology is not my strength. I kind of shy away from it, but as a teacher, you have to step out of that comfort zone. So you, you have to present the best that you can be for your students. You know, take one piece, learn it as much as you can, and you learn with it every day. So you'll increase student engagement, and you'll see that they'll teach you. They're not shy, so they'll teach you as well. Be a learning experience for all.